Hey everybody, I'm Sarah and Emily Rivers asked me to share a spiritual practice or a meditation um, that I use or that somebody could use amidst the crisis or any time really. Um, and I'm happy to do that. So I'll tell you today first, I'm going to introduce you to a sweet nugget of peace that has come to me since uh, COVID-19 started. This is Ruby Lou. She looks pretty chill. This is uh, where we want to get to is this level of chillness uh, with our meditation today, perhaps. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit of my post COVID-19 joy uh, with the group. And again, she is a magnificent uh, magnifier of peace, if you allow her to be. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I guess months almost, um, I went to CBCT training, which is Cognitive Based Compassion Training at Emory. Um, and it was awesome. I absolutely am putting a plug in for that. And I am going to tell you caveat now that I'm not an expert in CBCT. I am not I haven't taken the teacher's training, although I may. It was so good. It just was a really, really, really valuable, really valuable training. Um, and today I'm just going to show you and share with you the foundational practice that they share through compassion-based CBCT compassion training. The foundation component, which is very small, but was really, really meaningful to me and I think could be meaningful to a lot of us. So. CBCT is in essence designed to help people expand their compassion, which is their desire to see people's suffering alleviated and not just within their own circles of people that they know, but expand it to all beings and all sentient beings and all people, but all sentient beings. And the goal is to expand beyond our inner circle to our outer circle, to our human and um, sentient being circle. And one of the first foundational components of the practice is simply to rest in a moment of nurturance. And what this means is come to a moment where you felt safe or you felt loved or you felt cared for. Um, I have a condition in my nervous with my nervous system that requires me to learn how to practice stimulating my parasympathetic nervous response, which is my which is your relaxation response as opposed to your fight or flight nervous system response. And one of the ways that they teach you as you're learning to deal with this kind of condition is um, it's really important that you feel safe. So I actually think this nurturance, this resting in a moment of nurturance um, is really a foundational practice for anything that we want to do. So in essence, um, you're supposed to think about a time when you felt particularly cared for or particularly loved and supported. Um, I thought about a time when I was really, really sick for a long time and I didn't know what to do with myself and my partner at the time just got in to bed with me and just held me and helped me, helped me know that I wasn't alone. And that's a vision I have of a nurturing moment where I felt extremely cared for and safe. Um, I can also think about other times when um, I was just particularly moved by what I believe it would feel like to meet Jesus or to hold his hands and to or to meditate and pray with Jesus that could be a nurturing moment for me so a nurturing moment doesn't have to be from your own life um, experience it can be something that you can envision that just makes you feel safe and cared for and uh, you can imagine uh, how well, I keep trying to emphasize how important it is that we feel safe, especially during a crisis. And if you can restore your body to the point where you feel safe, somatically, the response is like, you will, your body will relax and um, you could even do a different meditation with more depth and composure. I find I can meditate better if I rest in my moment of nurturance first. So, um, we'll practice if you're ready. First, Take three slow, deep breaths, inhaling through your nostrils and exhaling gently. You wanna sit up to where you're comfortable. You can rest uh, with your feet flat on the ground and your back straight or in a cross-legged position, any way that you feel comfortable. 
And the goal is to have your, your spine erect and not to lift your head up too much or too far down, just neutral and take a couple of grounding breaths. Now, feel and allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm and call your mind to a time where someone made you felt extremely cared for and safe. Maybe someone extended to you a kindness that you didn't expect. Maybe you were able to extend a kindness to someone they didn't expect and it made you feel cared for. Maybe it's getting to meet Jesus and holding hands and praying with him. Bring this moment to mind as vividly as you can. Think of every detail. If you're looking in someone's eyes, what color are they and what expression is coming across? And live into that feeling as you continue to build the image, live into what that experience is like in your body. And just breathe there. Sometimes when I get uh, discombobulated or I don't, I get frustrated, I'm not sure what to do with my day or I get overwhelmed, I will just do that. And obviously it doesn't take very long. Um, I know that I did not illustrate or guide you through that with the proficiency and power that our fabulous Emily could do, but I hope that that is a tool that you could use and just a reminder that um, in a time of crisis, a lot of times we don't feel safe and that can impact all the energy that we bring to everything. So if you can restore that feeling of safety in the current moment energetically and to your, your body, um, a lot of things will shift and you won't contract as much. And I find that to be a really powerful practice. And I am not surprised, I didn't know it, but I wasn't surprised to see that as a foundational practice for CBCT. So um, whenever you're stressed, um, try it out. See if you can call to mind and breathe a couple of deep breaths sitting up straight and visualize and experience what it feels like to be safe and resting in your moment of, of being nurtured. I think that's uh, a lot of about love is about the experience of love and I think feeling loved is also feeling safe. So I leave you with that. I hope that everyone has a fabulous week. I hope that you're finding everything that you need and you know where I am if you have any vocational questions or anything like that. Be well. And um, our other peacemaker also says, be well this week. Bye, Ruby. Bye.